Dear colleagues, this is FACO emulsification of a soft cataract. Let us see the surgical steps. This is the main incision, 2.8 millimeter. It's a posterior limbal incision. Now, SPMC is being injected into the anterior chamber. SPMC is also spread over the epithelial surface of the cornea. Now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The patient is under topical anesthesia. And see that the eyeball is not held with any tooth forceps. The eyeball is supported by a cotton tipped pad and all the maneuvers are done. The anterior capsule has been incised with a 26 case bent needle and a Capsular flap has been raised. This flap is held with a uterita forceps and a continuous curvilinear capsular axis is done. Now, hydro dissection is done with VSS. The patient is moving his eye and I am struggling to give focus on the operating field. Hydrodissection is done with BSS and hydrodelineation is also done. Hydrodelineation has caused a golden ring in this case. Now the nucleus is rotated. Now in this case it is a soft cataract. I could do lens tilt technique but in this case I am going to do mechanical slicing just want to without applying any vacuum any power just give the nucleus support with the FACO tip and with the help of the chopper I just slice the nucleus here it is the FACO tip is embedded and I rest there. Stop applying energy and vacuum. And now I mechanically slice this nucleus. So this is just slicing the nucleus with the chopper and it is working well. Here again just support the nucleus and slice the nucleus with the chopper. That's it. In this case the FACO power is only 40%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So the nucleus and epinucleus has been removed and now this cortical matter is to be removed. A bit of visco is again injected into the anterior chamber and now I am going to use a Simco cannula to remove these cortical fibers. Here it is. These cortical fibers can be removed by bimanual IA, by coaxial IA and I usually use this instrument. This is a Simco cannula. This is the cortical matter at 1 o'clock. Yes, it has come out, but see some cortical matter, some fibers are sticking to the posterior capsule at 3 o'clock. It has to be removed. And some fibers are sticking on the posterior capsule at 7 o'clock. At the 7 o'clock fibers are dislodged and it comes out. The 3 o'clock fibers are separated from the posterior capsule, but it is attached to the equator. 
So I take biomanual IA and the irrigation is from the left side and aspiration from the right side and I remove these cortical fibers at 3 o'clock. That's it. Now, uh, hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted under irrigation. When these lenses are implanted under, irriga under irrigation, it takes little longer time to open these hydrophobic lenses take a little longer time to open in water that is in BSS. Now I hydrate the side port and the Antichamber is washed under higher magnification. I come down, step down the zoom. And now the lens opens and it goes, the haptics goes, the haptics go into the equatorial region of the capsular bag. This is the final wash. Now I want to be sure that both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag. So what I do is I use a sense key hook to check that the lens is in the bag and the anterior capsular rim is overlapping the optic of the intraocular lens. That's it. Now there's some leak from the side port at from the left side port. So I hide it the side port again and This is another wash. The antechamber is washed again. That's it. Now I am happy that the IOL is in the bag. It is nicely centered. There is no foreign body, no cotton fiber in the entire chamber. That's it. They conclude the case like this. Hope this video will help you in your practice.